Welcome to Jenkins doc in the platform special interest group. It is the 17th of December, 2021. Uh, today's items, we've got open action items, a topic on switching Linux packages from system five in it to system D and some remnants from past sessions, PowerPC and Java eight end of life and multi-platform support blog posts. Uh, still two open action items on me for operating systems we test and for Docker operating system support uh, still pending. Um, we'll close this action item on the plugin installation manager docs. Um, oh no, maybe we won't. No, I take it back. I'm, I'm wrong. I can't close this because this is different. We've got a configuration as code plugin repository, plugin description but we don't have plugin installation manager docs. So I made a mistake closing that. I'll need to reopen it and uh, put it into, well, not reopen it, but we will do use the same technique we use with configuration as code for plugin installation manager. Create a small summary of the tool on Jenkins.io and then point people to the repository for detailed documentation. That way the documentation is easier to maintain Next topic was switching Linux packages from system five in it to system D. Uh, this issue was submitted uh, several years ago, uh, back in 2017, uh, when system D was not as widely popular. Now it's very much widely popular. Um, we would need to update the deb file for Debian and for Ubuntu, the Red Hat RPM for systems like CentOS, Red Hat, um, Amazon Linux, Oracle Linux, and the SUSE RPM for SUSE Enterprise Linux and for OpenSUSE. The open question there is how do we make it smooth for existing users and how do we document it well enough so that they can make a successful transition, whether they're using weekly or long-term support. Uh, still open, no, no volunteers yet to do the work. Uh, it feels like there is significant work to be done in order to, to create a proposal, to assemble the tests, to run the tests, et cetera. PowerPC support looks really good. It's running great on ci.jenkins.io and uh, continues to be reliable. So we've had good results with the agent. It's running builds as needed. And uh, likewise for the system 390 agent that we have, it's also running. So we've got, we've got build agents available and those agents are doing work for us. Thanks to IBM for donating, uh, letting us use their, the, that compute capacity. Uh, no further progress on Java 8 end of life alternatives or on the multi-platform support blog post. Thanks, that's it for today. We'll cancel, oh, meeting, next meeting is canceled. We'll meet in the, meet in the new year next. And that's it.